Hello Taurus and welcome to your September 2023 love reading. Taurus, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you, so please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements to see if there's any more clarity or guidance or information in those readings for you. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate all your energies so very much. All right, Taurus, let's see what we have in store for you for the month of September. Judgment. Judgment, judgment. Interesting. Oops, I just shut the light off. <laughs> that happens sometimes, doesn't it? You see that card? Beautiful. We have judgment. We have, you know, coming to terms with something. Um... Starting over, starting new, starting fresh. Heeding the higher call. Heeding, heeding your higher calling. With the judgment card. Wiping the slate clean. Being given a second chance. Being given a third chance. Being given a fourth chance. Being given another chance. You have the beautiful release card. Releasing what doesn't serve you. Releasing what's holding you back. Releasing what's keeping you stuck. And focus. Focus on what you want to release. Focus on what you want to let go of. Focus on focus on the path you want to take moving forward even, right? And we have sparks. So if you're single, you could have a new relationship coming in that's going to cause sparks. That's going to uh, have you focus on what you're wanting in a relationship. What you're wanting to um, move into. You know, releasing the old, embracing the new. Focusing on what you want is what I feel, too, with that focus card and the release. Again, judgment's a beautiful card of your higher calling, your higher self, listening to words of wisdom, listening to ancestors, listening to that energy of your self. Um, it is letting go of moving in the direction of where you want to go. It can be... Taurus, it can be letting go of whatever's holding you back so you're not living an authentic life. Embracing the new. Embracing the you. It can also be a card of spirituality, getting in touch with, you know, religion or spiritual guidance or spiritual growth. But I, I feel like judgment is atonement. You know, if there's a past relationship, the I'm sorry's have been said, the blames have been done, you know, you've worked through all of that and you're moving into, again, it's the, the energy of the whole reading. So you're moving into that energy of forgiveness and new starts. It's kind of like when you get a, um, a notebook and you, it's all clean, all the pages are brand new and clean. It's that energy. It's blank you can start writing again you have fish and heart and writer right fish can be prosperity it can be blessings where you don't realize where blessings are coming from it can be blessings this is resources finances investments prosperous money income commerce multiply large quantity lavish bodies of water so, again, it could be travel, but it can also be where you are living in abundance and you're seeing where that is. Maybe because of the judgment card, maybe something's brought you back down to earth. Maybe something is, is not only grounded you, but made you very appreciative of life. And that is, you know, you're seeing how abundant you really are, even though you might not be the richest person in the world, right? You have heart, which is always love and romance, joy and blessings, hearts, desires, content, affection, fulfillment, kindness, forgiveness, passion, and caring. Whatever is going on, you can meet somebody that's going to have the sparks with. You could already be talking to somebody that is you have sparks with, right? And you might be moving forward in it. You might be... You know, this person might be contacting you because the writer's all about messages coming in. It's all about movement forward or movement. Um, you have messenger, movement, message, travel, news, visitor, delivery, goals, green light, progress, full speed ahead. So there could be something. These cards are so 
almost color coordinated, right? That there's something coming in about love that is moving forward. And it could, again, bring you blessings beyond your wildest desires with the fish. The fish is always abundance. And it can be some type of travel also, but I, I still feel like it's a, um, it's moving forward in abundance, moving forward in love and moving forward, getting messages. Somebody's talk, um, talking to you, talking with you and bringing sparks in, bringing in sparks. We like that. We like that. You have the four of wands. And the Queen of Swords. Interesting. Four of Wands is stable, stable energy. So this is the past and how you were in a past relationship. And I just feel like um, I just feel like there there could be where you thought everything was good. You thought you had it all. You thought everything was wonderful. You thought this was the be all end all, the happily ever after, all the things with the Four of Wands. The structure stability you found it there but I think I think there was a lot of words I think there was a lot of um, mental maybe maybe uh, verbal abuse or verbal sometimes I like to say you know mouth diarrhea or verbal diarrhea a lot of just talking nonsense or um, expectations that were not easily met or something. There was some type of, uh, I just feel like there's something you found out or something that was revealed to you from a past relationship that wasn't what you thought. It wasn't truth. It wasn't fairness. It wasn't this energy of that. It wasn't the stable energy that you thought it was, is what I feel. Now, on the flip side on that, the past is, you know, you providing a stable energy. There was a stable energy there. And how you were in a past relationship was very strict as far as wanting um, the truth and honesty and justice and all the things. Holding people accountable. I mean, it could be... I don't see these as really bad cards, but they're, they, the Queen of Swords can have a tendency to be very sharp with the tongue. It can have, uh, there could be some lies associated sometimes with this person. But since this is how you were in a past relationship, I feel like you wanted that road, you know, that, that line towed straight. You didn't want deviations from it. And, you know, that structure and stability is what you're looking for in past relationships. How you are now. How you are now, you have you have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is you're willing to work at a relationship. You're willing to, you know, try, try again. You're willing to put in the work. You're willing to put in the time. You're willing to um, keep going back in, you know. You're not giving up. You're not giving up. Um, Eight of Pentacles can also be a card about working too much, putting yourself into work, like physical work that you're doing, uh, you know, putting, putting too much of that in, not allowing yourself time to socialize or not allowing yourself time to be with anybody because you're putting in so much time at work, possibly. Potential of a situation, Taurus. Potential of a situation is the death card. Potential of a situation. Death, death card is a card of transformation. It's a card of Scorpio. It's a card of letting go of what is not serving you. Really close to the judgment card. Letting go of what's not serving you so you can embrace the new coming in. Right? So the potential of a situation is... I feel like once you let go of what isn't serving you, once you allow yourself to come clean and start over again, that's the death card. It's almost like a rebirth. Right? With the judgment, the judgment is a rebirth card. 
So the potential of a situation is new, new life, new beginnings, new starts. Transformation. Embrace. Embrace the transformation. Embrace the new. There's an understanding with the death card too. The conflicts. You have seven of pentacles. Conflicts. You have seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. I feel with the seven of pentacles is under the conflicts is there's confusion. Maybe you don't know what you want out of a partner. Maybe there's an unsureness here that you don't you don't know which way to go. You don't know you don't know how to act. You don't know what to do. You know there's there's a lot of um, trying to figure things out with the seven of uh, pentacles and I feel like you just kind of need to take a break it could be where the death card comes in kind of take a break and figure out what what it is you do want make a list pros and cons what you want in a relationship what you don't want in a relationship I feel like you're talking to somebody I feel like there's correspondence here it could be a long distance relationship right now and I just feel with the seven of pentacles in the complex, it's like you're just not sure. You almost keep talking yourself out of something. Almost like the woulda, coulda's. You know, what if this happens? What if that happens? What, what do I do for this? What do I do for that? What if, what if? Positive and negative. Look at this. Look at the Seven of Cups. Positive and negative. Hmm. So you have the Seven of Pentacles. Figuring out what you want. You have the Seven of Cups. Again, a card of decisions. Um, your strategy, planning, what you're doing on both. Not sure which not sure which way to go on the seven of pentacles. Seven of Cups is a lot of there could be confusion. There's a lot of decisions to be made. There's a lot of choices. So you're positive and negative. You could be on a dating site. You could have so many choices to choose from. Who do you choose? Confusion. I don't know. There's a lot going on here. I'm not sure what to do. That that's a negative. The positive is you have so many choices, right? You have so many choices. I do feel like you are talking to somebody. I feel like there is a connection here. I feel like there is a hit. There is a love interest. But whether or not you can see it as a new start or a new beginning. And, not, and let go of old past relationships. Let go of old past thoughts. Like the judgment card and the death card are both asking you to do. Your next steps, Taurus. Taurus's next steps. Strength. Believing in yourself. Believing in a situation. Believing in a person. Knowing that you are taking... It's a card of Leo, by the way. Taurus, you're taking this energy here on your next steps and you're taking all your past energies all your past all this past knowledge and you're moving it forward with you to a new relationship you're not you're not not remembering how somebody treated you or acted or the good and the bad and the ugly right but you're stronger than you were in the past. You're stronger than you were two weeks ago. You're stronger than you were a month ago. I feel like you've always been strong in relationships. But I feel like something knocked you a little bit. And you're, you've 
you're getting your strength back you just have confusion now it could be where you haven't dated in a while and now like everything's online or everything's you know not you go meet somebody at a restaurant which you still can absolutely technology and everything's changed the two sevens here you know decisions strategy planning thinking about what you want and then taking the time to decide take time the seven of cups can be a card too of you know take your time and really look into each of those cups to see because looks can be deceiving looks can be deceiving Fears that may block you. Oh, fears that may block you. There's another seven. It's a chariot. You have two major arcana in a row. You have three showing up on the board. Fears that may block you is moving, doing something, making movement, going forward. Following your heart, following your dreams, following what you want. It can be a physical move. Fears that may block you is physically moving country, moving state, moving providence, moving towns moving or it could be physically moving just doing do something just do something right this card can be a card of excuses where you hold tight to this fear where it's like i just don't know i don't know i don't know what if what if what if keep making excuses to hold yourself back and not move forward Chariot, card of cancer, could have a water sign involved here, could have a, another fire sign with the strength card, a uh, Leo, not another fire sign, sorry, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, all right, we have your hopes, your hopes are growth, your hopes are working together, your hopes are moving forward, you know, three of wands moving forward moving moving right your hopes are that you can move your hopes are that you can push this forward i feel with this being the fears that may block you is movement is the chariot is you know something coming in as well as something advancing that you just it's easier to stay in something, in a relationship. It's easier to stay in a situation that is familiar to us. Even though it might not be a good situation, right? That could be kind of what's blocking you is that energy. The hopes are you can move forward. The hopes are... Knowing what you want and going after it is what I feel. Um, especially with the chariot card, I feel like there's a lot of positive vibes here. And it's just you believing in it and, and acting on it. Act on it. The three of wands, act on it. Your passion, your desire, your energy. Put your energy into it. You can also have other tie-ins like your career, finances with this card that can move you forward it could be more lucrative too to move if you're moving outcome is emperor beautiful wow we have wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck lady luck's on your side now is the time to take the chances now is the time beautiful card the emperor the outcome card leadership uh, somebody it's card of Aries somebody that is in charge somebody that is well spoken somebody that is it could be somebody that is um, a professor or a teacher there's knowledge here there's knowledge so your outcome is not only is it a mature relationship or stable energy, but it is growth and it is knowledge. 
So I just feel that if you're moving into a relationship, Taurus, it's a beautiful time to do it because everything's on your side. You just have to let go of some of your fears, right? Your will of fortune. Now's the time to act. Now's the time to do. Again, there are sparks between you and somebody, and it could be, um, you know, maybe this is the first mature relationship you've, you've ever had coming in, right? But you have the strength. You have, you know, four major arcanas that are showing up. So this is a very, or five if you count, the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Death card. You have the Strength, the Chariot, and the Emperor. Did I mention Emperor is a card of Aries? So you have Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, and Aries. And then the Wheel of Fortune is a culmination of... Um, Oh, there we go. The Phoenix. It's beautiful. Um, of, it's a fixed sign. So Scorpio. Oh, goodness. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus is the fixed energies. You know, fixed is stubborn. <laughs> fixed is knowing what you want and staying there. We have the beautiful Phoenix energy as your oracle that we pulled. Out of the... You see that? Yeah. Out of the ashes. And it's a number four card, which is stable energy. Again, that stability, that structure. Started out with the four right here and ended with the four. Okay, let's see here. All right, the women in this fire is no longer being burned due to fear, control, or power. The woman in the fire today is a phoenix whose regeneration alights us with dreams of what we can still be. You were born with transformation in your veins. The fire that used to burn us hundreds of years ago is losing its heat. You and your ancestors have taken the fire that used to destroy and brought it forward as fire to transform. You don't seek retribution. You channel your, your rage, power, sadness, and brokenness into life force, creativity. You are a living transformation, unfolding wings in the flames of change. Don't seek status or passivity or comfort. Let it all burn. Let it all go, right? Your first card was that transformation energy. Let it go. Embrace it. You can give it up. You can heed your higher calling. Wipe the slate clean and start over again. Let it all burn. Burn with it to discover the indestructible philosopher's stone at the bottom of the alchemist's bowl. It's your soul revealing its indestructible nature. Let this time of change shape your life to become the flaming legacy of your phoenix spirit. Beautiful. It's a real strong Scorpio vibe here. So you may have a Scorpio uh, person coming in with the death card in the Phoenix. Definitely. You may be talking to that person. What a beautiful card. You know, let go and embrace that, uh, the new you, that person that you are. The person that this judgment card is letting you become. Rising up into this beautiful energy. Again, knowing, you know, you're taking the energy of all this past with you. And it, you know it's not going to happen again. You're not going to let it happen again. You're moving forward in that energy. Right? Subconscious. That beautiful card of Lady Lux on your side. Go for it. Got the nod from the universe, Taurus. Alright guys, take care of yourself each other. Stay safe. Be blessed. Let me know how this resonates with you. I would love to hear from you. Uh, you can give me a thumbs up. You can just give me a, you know, if you want to write it in the bottom, do so. That's, that's, uh, that will work too. I thank you all for being here. No, I put readings out mid month for health, career, finance, and love. And I also do deck unboxings and pick a cards and all the things. So pick a pile. Subscribe, hit a notification bell if you don't want to miss anything. I thank you so much for being here. Um, be blessed. Stay safe. Taurus, until next month, which is October, my favorite month. Bye for now.